Greetings friends, welcome to The Den with me, J-Mac, the Red Island Shaver. So glad to have you guys all aboard for the weekend video. And for today's shaving shenanigans, something I've really been looking forward to uh, using. And that is, yes, right here, the Tetalus Essence. Oh, I can't wait to use this razor. Uh, this is on loan uh, from Sexy Phil Tremblay, one of my Canadian Mafia brothers. We've been doing a... Uh, do want to pass around with the Canadian Mafia, so uh, I'm the caboose, I guess, of this uh, of this razor train. It's gone to all the members, and I'm the last one to uh, to get it. So after I use it a couple times, I will uh, package it up and send it back out to my brother Phil. And yeah, I can't wait to uh, to get this shave on. Also, back into the sample Saturday gang. Going with a, uh, a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful soap today. One that I'm surprised I've never tried or bought because I absolutely love tobacco scents. You guys know how much I love tobacco scents. Um, they are my jam. I just, I just have this affinity of tobacco and and bourbon and whiskey and and even in citrus and it's a lot of stuff I really like. But the tobacco scents. Man, they really, they really get me. I like them a lot. So today's sample is courtesy of Sean Erder, my uh, Canadian brother from up in northern Ontario. So thank you very much, Sean. I do appreciate it. We did a big sample swap there not too long ago. He sent me a ton of samples over the last few months, and I sent him out a, uh, a big uh, load of samples as well. So a great way to try out soaps. Uh, this one today is... Cavendish, where did I put it? Yeah, there's the little little dime bag there. CK1 Cavendish, as always. The first taste is free, and then after that, you gotta pay. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. Going with the official brush of the Canadian Mafia today, the Simpsons Trafalgar T3. I have the soap smooshed down into my Thirsty Badger leather bowl. Let's, uh, get this brush loaded and we'll get it on the face and we will get cracking on with this shave i think i got enough soap in here uh softer soaps can be kind of a pain to uh to get into a sample bowl sometimes um but yeah i just kind of smeared it all over the bottom all over the sides just anywhere i thought that the bristles were going to be able to grab on to the soap you guys know I don't usually bowl lather, so I do like to face lather. All my brushes are pretty much geared for face lathering, which means, you know, they're soft, but have a good amount of backbone to, to get the work done, uh, but not give me brush burn. That looks like a good CK1 load right there. I pretty much know, know by now what, uh, what a good brush load should look like. One would think anyway, especially if you're running a YouTube channel. So let's go. Scent notes on this are Kentucky and Burley tobacco. There's a hint of cherry, vanilla bean, cedar, leather, and a hint of smoke. And what is Doug's goal to create the ultimate pipe tobacco scent? And yeah, I already do get that pipe tobacco vibe. I'm getting mostly tobacco. I'm not really getting much of the cherry, at least not yet. Um, definitely getting a hint of the smoke. Vanilla just adds a bit of sweetness that you would get in some pipe tobacco anyway. The same with the cherry. It's just going to em you know, it's just going to emulate that pipe tobacco scent. I think he did a really good job on this. A really, really good job. Um, yeah, enjoying it thus far. It's not a super strong scent, uh, right to my nose. Good solid medium. I put it right around a five. It's not like leaping off the face at me yet. But what I am getting is nice. Very, very nice. Get this lather whipped up right quick like. There is gonna be timestamps in the video as well if you want to uh, and click forward to different parts of the video. If you're interested in purchasing this soap, you can get it at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, or, well, it's Phoenix Shaving now, I guess. 
Uh, there is a link down below. I do have an affiliate link for Phoenix Shaving. So if you do feel so inclined to purchase the soap from uh, Phoenix, if you wouldn't mind using my affiliate link, that would be so sweet. Same with this brush. You get this brush at the Razor Company. I have an affiliate link there as well. So it's a win-win kind of a situation. You guys can buy a nice... A nice soap set or a nice brush throw a little bit of commission into my my paypal and i can use that for some fun money for some stuff to, for the channel so and for some future giveaways too so there you go i'm trying to build up a little pot there's some things i want to do maybe a couple things i want to get and then some things for giveaway i think i'm gonna roll with that for a lather i th this could take more water but uh, take a lot more water, but we'll be here all day, and this is quite, quite sufficient for, for shaving. I don't like a super, a super runny, gloopy leather. Anyway, we're in a little bit of water here just to clean up. Yeah, I'm digging that scent, getting that whiff of smoke right there. Yeah, that's real nice. Very nice indeed. And as you can see, CK1 whips up really, really nice. Uh, uh, full disclosure, I don't have any soaps in CK6. All of them are in CK1. All right. Get a look at this bad boy. The Tetalus Essence. Beautifully engineered shavette made in Switzerland. So you get a look at the top here. Without cutting my fingers. Lots of jipping on this which I really like as you open it up and establish your grip. I got jimps for my thumb underneath. I get jimps all on the top of the spine, including on the backside of this large monkey tail. It is quite a large monkey tail, but I have large hands. And as you can see with my preferred grip, this is actually like perfect. This is made out of uh, stainless steel. I actually got to turn my extra little light on here. Oh, here goes the jiggle. It's made out of stainless steel for the razor itself, aluminum scales uh, with some added weight in the wedge just to help balance this out. And this balances very nice in the hand. Fourth use feather professional in here. Let's see how it goes. Very nice. I like to use a nice shallow shaving angle. It feels like I can shallow shave right off the bat. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. This shaves right at the angle I like. Um, as far as loading this, it's a magnet closure. Uh, it was actually easier than I thought. Uh, as you guys know, I don't see very well. Thought that was going to be a bit of an issue. It was not. Very nice. Oh, wow. I think I'm in love. Oh, I think I'm in love. And that's bad. That's very bad because this, this is a very, very, very expensive piece of kit. This retails for about 450 Canadian pepperonis. That's right. It's a lot of money, but it is incredibly well built. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a nice shave at, what can I say? It's really nice. It feels really good in the hand. Oh, man. Phil, you are one lucky fella. Uh, Phil actually won this in a Tetalus giveaway. And he didn't have it that long before he sent it out on the pass around. So that was super cool. Um, but yeah, oh, really nice. Really nice feel. Perfectly balanced. Feels good on the face. It feels fast, which is 
which is what I like. I don't notice any drag, even though my lather is not like, you know, like I said, some people might prefer a thinner lather for straight razor shaving. I go that way sometimes, but if I'm doing a you know, face lather on camera sometimes, I might sacrifice a little bit of that for time. And we'll go across the grain here. Very nice. Yeah, I, I just, oh, I really like how it just it's shaves right, right the way I like it to shave. Right at that angle. All right, now, and we'll go up. A little bit more awkward to hold the razor if I'm doing those upstrokes the way it's designed. If we get those scales a little bit flatter, at least the way I like to grip a razor. I will try this. Now this, oh, this will this will work better. Yeah, okay, that worked better. All right, it's just about great. I'm also used to using a Camisori, so a little bit different, kind of getting used to there, going back and forth between scales. No scales, but we got to figure it out. Perfect, nice and easy, all right. Okay, lathered up for the last pass. I forgot my alum. So I definitely want some alum for this pass to do a little bit of stretching. Get that wet, ready to go. Nice, easy peasy. Hope everybody's having a most wonderful weekend. It's all good here in the Red Island. Just uh, chilling, watching uh, shaving videos on YouTube. Getting this one done, drinking some coffee. Living life, you know what I'm saying? Living life, we're having a good day. Having a good day, we're having a great shave. Oh yeah, what more can you want? It's also Father's Day this weekend, so happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Uh, you know who you are. You guys rock. Dads, uh, dads are a wonderful, wonderful thing. I don't know what I'm getting from my kids for Father's Day yet. I guess I'll find out tomorrow, see if they got their old man anything. I don't usually talk when I'm doing straight razor passes. I like to hear the blade singing its song. And this one is pretty quiet. It's actually a pretty quiet shaving razor. Enough audible feedback. I can hear what's going on though. Definitely feel what's going on. nice 
Very nice. That's almost BBS right there. Very nice razor indeed. Uh, this also does take different types of blades. You can put an injector blade or a DE in here. If I own this personally, I would just go as is. I would just go AC all the way. For me, AC blades are uh, the king when it comes to shavettes. And it would just look weird, I think, with a with a half DE blade in here. It just, it's designed for an AC and they are the king of shave at blades all right i'm gonna do a quick cleanup off camera when we come back we'll get the uh the final thoughts on the splash we'll see you guys in a minute and we are back that was a very nice shave indeed let me tell you what it was a uh, very very nice yeah the tetalus essence is a fantastic razor let's feel around yeah, that's going to dehydrate down pretty much into an all-over BBS. Maybe maybe a little bit DFS through here. If you guys don't know, damn fine shave. Over here, maybe left a couple spots, but didn't want to push it. Face was feeling good. Didn't really didn't really care if I got a couple little spots. Use the Tricant from Aylesworth, actually, for the cleanup roll today. And it performed admirably in the cleanup roll. So, just as I suspected... Works just as well in that role as the Overlander. So very, very nice. We're going to go with some first Canadian Ace of Spades. Which is a good hit of uh, cigar, tobacco, cherry, bourbon. Oh, it's so good. It's one of my favorites. Actually, I actually think I'm running pretty low on this splash. Or I'm almost out. I know, uh, I know a fellow who's got a backup set for me though. So I'll probably have to go ahead and uh, send him some money. At the start of the start of July, and get get some more of this in stock. But yeah, that was a great shave, unreal. Really enjoyed the scent on a Cavendish. Beautiful, beautiful cigar scent. Doug, amazing job, as always. But that's what you come to expect from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements is amazing scents. Um, Doug and Fran are two of the best in the business when it comes to that. So anyway, guys, that's the shave for this weekend. Do appreciate it. New to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the video if you do so desire. Helps our content creator community grow here on YouTube. Helps our wet shaving community grow as well. So that's going to do it for me, my friends. Hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. And an even better shave. Catch you in the next one. Peace.